Today I am covering MCIs. So multi-casualty incident. Usually when we think of MCIs, we think of a, of a lot of patients, a lot of people being injured, but technically per definition, a MCI, a multi-casualty incident is any time that you have more than you can handle, okay? But I wrote this down because usually when we think of an MCI, we're thinking about a bus crashing, an airplane crashing, stuff like that. Now, we use triage for MCIs. So triage is just a way of filtering out the patients to give the right care or the appropriate care per patient. So that's what triage does. It helps us filter out patients from the MCI. The triage, there's different types of triage methods that we use, but the one that I'm going to cover is the START method, right? It's the one that most counties use, most states use. So it stands for simple triage and rapid treatment. And we go off color coordination. Now, depending on how your patient presents, how they look, you will actually tag them with it with one of these colors. This is supposed to be red, by the way, in case you don't know. Uh, I just don't have a red marker, so I use this color. I think it looks close enough to red. So anyways, let's go ahead and pretend that this right here is a bus. That's the front window, side windows, wheels, it's on its side. Let's say that the bus driver was distracted, they were listening to bad and bougie, got really crunk, and wasn't paying attention, lost track of the car, lost, lost their handle of the car, and the, or the bus, sorry, and they crashed the car, or the bus, why am I saying car, the bus. So now they're bad and injured. And you get there. Well, the way you're going to uh, deal with which patient gets what is... When you get in the bus, let's say that you can get in the bus. If you get in the bus that's full of patients, you're going to say, if you can hear the sound of my voice, come to me. So if they can actually get up and walk to you, they are what we call the walking wounded. Not the walking dead, the walking wounded. All right? Put a W there because I don't want to run out of room. All right, these people, for the most part, they're going to be okay, I think. All right, if they're walking, they're alert, they're good to go, they go in the green spot. So they go right here, all right? Boom, green. Walking wounded, they walk to you. Now, the rest of the people, as you're actually going through the bus and trying to get a response, trying to get a reaction, getting, you know, see, seeing if they even have a pulse or if they're breathing, if your patient has a radial pulse, so radial pulse, if they're alert and respiration rate is below 30, they will get a yellow, all right? Then they will get put right here after you're done filtering, filtering them out because they are injured, but they might be okay, all right? They might have a few injuries, uh, banged up a little bit, but for the most part, it looks like they might actually make it. Now, as you're going, and you the ones you find that are not alert, so not alert, not really responding to you at all, uh, no radio pulse, and respiration rate is above 30. Now, if it's above 30, that means that they're compensating, right? No radio pulse. That means blood. That means the blood pressure is decreasing. BP is decreasing. That's what this means without even checking for a blood pressure. That, that's, this is what you should be thinking of. So they will go in the red. These people, for the most part, will die pretty soon. Now, the rule of thumb is if this patient, as you're, you're approaching them, if they're bleeding out, if, if something is going on with the patient that you can fix, like maybe open up their airway, put an OPA, a quick little fix, go ahead and do it, all right, and then move on. The patients that have no pulse, are not breathing, and just are pretty much dead, they get a black. They get the black label and they will go here. Alright? So you have to kind of go over this again. As you're walking into the bus, say, if you can hear the sound of my voice, walk to me. They're the walking wounded. Most likely they'll be okay. they get a green. If they are alert, have a radial pulse, radial pulse, respirations below 30, 
they get a yellow. They might these people might actually make it. They're just banged up. If they have no if they have no radio pulse, not alert, and respirations above thirty, this tells me they're compensating and they might be dying soon if they don't get help ASAP. If you can do a quick fix, put a tourniquet on them, um, open the airway, go ahead and do it. But they need help ASAP. These people are gonna be leaving first before anybody else usually if they are just not responding they are pretty much dead obviously dead they will go in the black and this is cancel Christmas so that's a Christmas tree right there it's cancel Christmas they're not gonna make it unfortunately um, hopefully this helps you guys out let me know if you have any questions leave comments below um, if you subscribe to the channel you you will actually get notifications Every time I post, and I have been posting on a daily basis, I think I will for the next month at least. Uh, but for sure, expect the video at least once a week for at least the next year. Uh, I know these are helping out people, and I know when I was going through my EMT program, I was struggling. I wish I had something like this, so that's why I do it for you guys. Uh, I, hope, I hope it helped. If not, like I said, just leave a comment below, ask me questions. I'm going to answer, I'll make a video from it. Alright, later, bye.